Hello friends! In this Well Done Wednesday, I make a collapsible table that's incredibly portable. Stay tuned! This was another scrap wood project made from some boards from a shelf that the previous owner had. As you can see, uh, the boards had cracked over time, so I ultimately glued them back together, and they were just fine. I had some 3 quarter inch OSB and some quarter inch oak plywood lying around, so I cut them to length and glued them together. I don't tend to do a lot of glue ups like this, so I figured I'd give it some camera time. It sure was fun spreading all that glue around and trying to fit the pieces on the top like a puzzle with all those clamps. One of the unexpected consequences though was the glue actually tainted the color of the plywood on the top once it leaked through and dried for a while. I couldn't even get it off with sanding. While the top was drying, I took the pieces that were going to be the legs and I ripped them to the same width, cut them to the same length, and then I planed them down to the same thickness. In fact, some of the pieces still had white paint on them, so they really needed to be removed with a planer. Given the thickness that these legs were after planing, I thought that the strongest joint was going to be a half lap joint. So I set up my dado stack and did half laps on all the legs and the back piece. Uh oh, looks like somebody was being silly and tried to make a half lap joint over a knot. Oh well. I had just enough scrap from the piece of oak to make one last leg. Gluing things up now is so easy now that I've got those glue bot bottles. Just amazing shop technology. So simple, so smart. Once the glue on the tabletop was finished drying, I drilled myself some holes for a handle, and then I sanded it with some 80 grit and some 120 grit. Nothing fancy, it is scrap wood after all. I figured I'd throw in some cleats on the bottom so that those sliding legs would stay put. I assembled the legs before finishing to make sure everything looked good, and then I went to chisel away the spot where the hinges are going to be. And I got done chiseling and I realized that I had the wrong kind of hinges, so those chisel marks stayed even though I used different hinges, which we'll see in a moment. I threw on some stain and a ton of polyurethane on the underside of the OSB just to give it some protection with all the things that I'm going to be throwing on it eventually, and I went ahead and I assembled the final product. And of course I have it upside down here for a while. There we go, that's the right way. I've added a link in the description below to the page on Pinterest where I found this originally, as it was the inspiration for today's project. I see a lot of things on Pinterest and I mull them around and I uh, put my spin on them. It's a lot of fun. Do you use Pinterest? If so, be sure to follow the Midwest Man Mountain on Pinterest. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I'm the Midwest Man Mountain. Be sure to subscribe and until next time, bye.